So it's about time we get some answers about Ivanka. Let's dig into that and see where that goes. I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, it's not hard to do. It makes the world of difference and it means whether I'm able to keep doing this. So please subscribe and thank you very, very much. I know you're watching and thank you for doing it. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. I mean, come on, we want to know what's going on with her. We haven't heard from her. She's slunk out of sight. And uh, we don't even, I should have asked about Jared, but I'm not going to this video, maybe another one. So uh, Ivanka, 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 what's going on? Okay, I've got four questions. Just going to dig a little bit, just going to scratch the surface to find out what we can find out from the cards, you know, about Ivanka. Um, number one, okay, has Ivanka already given damaging testimony against her father, her daddy, Donald. Has she done it already? Number two. Okay. Will Ivanka give damaging testimony against her brother, Don Jr.? Is that going to happen? Maybe it has happened. Number three. Will Ivanka give damaging testimony against Eric? Although maybe he's already turned the other two in, but we'll see. And then number four, which will be a full Celtic cross with two parts. Will Ivanka serve jail time? Can you imagine? Will she act? Her hair is not blonde. We'll get to see what color it really is. Will, will Ivanka serve jail time? And uh, then for the second part, will Ivanka leave the USA eventually permanently? Will she eventually just leave the United States? So Modern Spellcasters Tarot, Melanie Marquis with il illustrations by uh, Scott Murphy beautiful cards. I mean, they come in a really nice box with that magnetic uh, catch that's embedded in the inside the, uh, the box itself. And uh, the uh, guidebook is very useful. Um, it doesn't, you know, the pictures are nice. It's a full color guidebook. And um, the descriptions here, they are in fact very useful in, div in dividing the cards. So I have to say, even for the price of the cards, just because you got this guidebook, this is worth the price of admission right here. The cards are you know, are very nice. They're useful. They're a familiar size of card to use, and they're quality on the back and on the front. And you're going to see that this artwork goes right to the edge of the cards, and uh, it's intuitive. They're right on the money with the Rider weight system, and um, they're just fun cards to use, and they f and they feel good. And uh, then um, so if these. Uh, if you're kind of into uh, spell casting, or even even if you're not, actually, um, these cards are um, very nice to use. So that's the Spellcasters Tarot, Melanie Marquis, and Scott Murphy. Okay, this will be about Ivanka, but you know what we're going to do first? We're going to have just a moment of meditation. Okay, let's go on to this divination. Okay, this is going to be four questions. Three will be three card pulls, and then the fourth question will be a two part. It'll be a Celtic cross, and it'll be ten cards. So this is Ivanka. Ivanka Trump. Ivanka, Ivanka. So has Ivanka already given damaging testimony against Donald Trump? Has Ivanka already given damaging testimony against her father? Has Ivanka Trump already given damaging testimony against her father? Has Ivanka Trump already given damaging testimony against her father? Three cards. One, two, and three. Has Ivanka already given damaging testimony against her father? So this is the King of Swords. King of Swords is truth, justice, rules, law. This king is determined. He's holding up a huge sword of those things. And uh, wow, it's, I think that's yes. Uh, the next card for has Ivanka already given damaging testimony against Donald Trump? 
is, oh my God, the sun shining the light on the thing. Another yes card, a big yes card. Wow. And is that Ivanka spinning the thread? Wow. So the next card for that is the Five of Pentacles. Oh yeah. Really uh, uh, building, a, f feeling left out in the cold. Okay, you can't go in to the house anymore to be protected. This woman is being uh, fended off by this vicious dog from going into her family home. Yeah, she has. Wow. 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 Okay. The next question, three cards. Will Ivanka give damaging testimony against Don Jr.? Will Ivanka give damaging testimony against her brother, Don Jr.? Will Ivanka give damaging testimony against Don Jr.? One. Two. Three. Will Ivanka give damaging testimony against Don Jr.? So this is the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups is a great big offer of compassion. Um, this could be seen as a yes card, or it could be seen as a great big offer of compassion is what she gave to her brother, Don Jr. Interesting. The next card, then, is going to be the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is really feeling embattled. Wands are actions, plans. This uh, person is holding on to a very fruitful plan and has got his foot on top of those other six plans, really has them stacked up neatly and under control. Interesting. The last card for Will Ivanka give testimony against uh, her, Don Jr. is uh, the Six of Wands. And, um, wow. The Six of Wands is victory, okay? This is a woman holding up a wand, a plan of victory. And these people are praising that woman. They're not, she's not the people she has to oppose. They're praising her. So let's consider this carefully. So will Ivanka give damaging testimony against Donald Jr.? I think she offers up a big cup of compassion for him. I think she's got a plan and is going to keep all this under control. And I think that she uh, is the victor in carrying out her plan. So it may be that perhaps that's just a step too far for her. Her dad, no, but her brother, maybe yes. Maybe she sees him for the bumbling person that he is. Interesting. So the next card, or the next draw, will be Will Ivanka give damaging testimony against Eric. Will Ivanka give damaging testimony against Eric? Will she give damaging testimony against Eric? Three cards. Okay. One, two, and three. Will Ivanka give damaging testimony against Eric? Interesting. Okay, so here we have justice. Interesting. So justice, and this is female justice. So there's going to be, wow. I don't know. Let's see what the next card is. The next card then is uh, the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles is finding just, oh no, this is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is happy family. Ten of Pentacles are value, their worth, their money. Um, and the Ten of Pentacles is generational value. The third card out of this is the Tower. And that's destruction. So let's look at this carefully. It could be that what Ivanka testifies to brings about justice having to do with familial uh, value uh, that is, um, you know, just devastating. It'd be, wouldn't that be a funny twist if it turns out that Eric carries a big portion of that blame even more than his brother? That's interesting. So I don't know how to read this. So just will she give testimony against Eric? Justice prevails. We have in the middle of this generational value. But next to that tower card, yeah, I think that maybe the testimony she gives may indirectly uh, be uh, something that Eric doesn't recover from, perhaps. It's kind of how I see it. You tell me what you think. But the last uh, question here, and this is a uh, full Celtic cross. I've got my questions written off to the side here. Um, will Ivanka serve jail time? Will Ivanka serve jail time? Will Ivanka serve jail time? For the first part of this uh, 10 card Celtic cross, six cards, two, three, four, five, and six. Will Ivanka serve jail time? Very interesting. 
The uh, signifier card for that is up oh, the fool. So starting a journey. Okay. The challenge to that journey is okay. Compassion. Okay, so this journey that she starts off on could be offered a great big cup of compassion. Okay, the base of this reading then is the moon. Secrets, of course, being revealed. That, of course, is the base of this whole thing. The past of this reading then is the chariot. The chariot is, is the major arcana. It's the number seven in the major arcana, and it's things coming forward at a rapid pace. This chariot is almost running, you know, out of control. The sky of this reading is the devil uh, lesser intentions oh my god being chained to um, th things that aren't serving you oh my goodness and then the um, likely outcome oof this ten of swords is just the end it's stopping well so far this is looking like uh, yeah this could uh, this could happen so for this first part of Ivanka will she um, serve jail time she starts on a journey yep She's offered up a big uh, cup of compassion. The secrets came out. Things happened quickly, uh, showing this tie to lesser intention, and it was the end. So I think she may actually do some jail time. And then the final question for this is, will Ivanka leave the USA eventually, permanently? The self of that question is the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is going to fight for his value. Hmm, maybe not. The environment that that's in is the Queen of Cups. Okay, it could be that she comes out uh, as the queen uh, who garners an awful lot of compassion. Interesting. So that could be the thing that lets her stay in the United States. Um, the hopes and the fears for that uh, with this Four of Cups is uh, being offered something that you really don't want. So I'm going to say no. That's not something she really wants to do. Even through all of this, she really wants to stay in, in the U.S. And then the final card, the final outcome uh, with this Nine of Swords Wow, the Nine of Swords is really being in, uh, nightmarishly embattled. It's nightmares. So I'm going to say that for Ivanka, we'll go over it again. First, will she do jail time and will she leave the U.S. permanently? Uh, for the jail time, yeah, it looks like she's going to start off on that journey. She's going to be offered compassion, but the secrets came out rapidly, and uh, she was tied to lesser intention. Uh, and then that was this is the end of, of that journey for her. So, yeah. That was the end of that journey, jail time. Um, will she leave the U.S.? She comes out of that as a knight fighting for her value. This is even a female warrior on this uh, squirrel's back, uh, fighting for her value. She shows up uh, as the environment of the Queen of Cups. So someone or uh, she's garnering an awful lot of emotional um, uh, backing. This this emotion is behind her. Um, then with this Four of Cups, it's being, uh, you know, leaving the country would be something that she wouldn't want to do. And then the Nine of, of Swords is just that it ends up, uh, the whole thing is just a nightmare. Interesting. Man, this couldn't be more on point, these cards, for the situation of whether they answer the questions correctly or not. This time, I feel pretty good about it. Yeah, I think I think it was right on the nose. So what do you think? Let me know. And by the way, ask me questions. Put a question in the comment. I read all the comments, and I'll answer the questions. That might not happen immediately, because, you know, I'm on a schedule here. But I'll answer them, so ask me. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.